Hello everyone, welcome to our video lecture series on Hysis and Innocent Simulations. Uh, in today's video lecture series, we will discuss bubble point and dew point. These are very important concepts of chemical engineering and we will show you how very easily this bubble point and dew point uh, calculations can be done for multi-component systems which are normally very difficult using Hysis and Unisim. Uh, these lectures have been organized by www.unitoperations.com and my name is Shekhar Bhattacharji. So, let's go directly to our uh, first problem, but before that, uh, let me quickly explain the bubble point and dew point uh, concepts. Uh, these are very basic concepts which are usually uh, discussed in uh, uh, undergraduate chemical engineering courses. Uh, but very quickly, uh, we know we have, uh, the, about the TXY diagram and the PXY diagrams. And we, these are of course uh, strictly valid for binary systems only. For pure compounds, of course, uh, we know that the bubble point is the same as the dew point, which is of course the boiling point of the uh, pure compound. But for a binary system, we know uh, for in the TXY diagram, this is a bubble point curve and this is a dew point curve. And um, what is a bubble point? Bubble point is at a, let's say, um, certain fixed pressure, the temperature at which they formed, uh, that is called the bubble point. And similarly for, it, uh, for, for a binary gaseous systems, the temperature at which the first drop of liquid uh, is, is, is formed is called the dew point. So here, the first uh, 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 in in case of bubble point, the first bubble that is formed, that is called the bubble point, and in case of dew point, the first drop of liquid that comes out of the vapor is called the dew point, and the corresponding compositions are called the bubble point composition, the dew point compositions, and of course we know these horizontal lines are called the tie lines. Uh, so th this liquid and the vapor are in equilibrium. So the same data can be expressed in terms of the p xy diagram in case of pxy diagram the bubble point curve is on the top and dew point curve is at the bottom anything below here is of course superheated vapor anything above is a subcool liquid so we will show you uh, how to determine the bubble point temperature and the bubble point pressure or the dew point temperature and dew point pressure with the help of the high and unison uh, just to sh remember that in these uh, example problems we'd be mainly dealing with uh, multi-component systems so the concepts what we have shown here is strictly true for binary systems but at least the concept of the bubble point and dew point have been explained and their basic concept remains the same even for a multi-component system so let us go directly to the very first problem in the very first problem, we know that uh, bubble point and dew point temperatures estimate the bubble point and the dew point temperatures and the corresponding liquid and vapor compositions for a hydrocarbon mixture. So, you have a hydrocarbon mixture where you have 15 percent isopentene, 30 percent normal pentene, and the rest normal. So, this is 55 percent, of course, um, uh, normal hexane. So, you have isopentene, normal pentene, and normal hexane, and the pressure is one atmosphere pressure. So, we have to find out the bubble point and the dew point temperatures. So, in terms of the diagram, let us go here quickly. So, here is the diagram here. So, for a uh, remember this is for a ternary system three components are there but in terms of the diagram what we have here uh, in this particular problem uh, that uh, the pressure has been fixed as one atmosphere so we need to find out for that particular composition of uh, what fight for particular composition what is the dew point temperature and what is the corresponding uh, what is the bubble point temperature and what is the corresponding dew point temperature so that's what we have to find out the composition is given the pressure is fixed as one atmosphere so we have to find out these two temperatures bubble point temperature and the corresponding dew point temperature we'll start with a new case and in the new case um, uh, let's quickly look at the problem here uh, here uh, so we have uh, 
uh, Ping Robinson equation of state isopentane normal pentane and normal hexane. So we go here. Uh, so first we choose uh, the fluid package here and we go for uh, Ping Robinson equation of state which is right here which have, we have discussed quite a lot and then of course we have to add the components so we go for the view and we have isopentane normal pentane normal hexane. So we select all these three compounds. So uh, the compounds have been uh, selected and the uh, equation of state has been selected. So, we go to the simulation environment. In the simulation environment, so we go here and we choose a stream. Let us call a stream here. So, let us put a stream here and in this stream, um, let us put the compositions first. So, we go here and in the compositions, if we can see the compositions are 15%, uh, 30% and 55%. So, we go here. So, we put 0.15 we put 0 0.15 and uh, then we point uh, 0 0.30 and then we put 0 0.55 so these are the compositions and that of course makes it equal to 1 so makes it 1 here so we are okay there so now we go to the conditions and in the conditions what we do here we have one atmosphere pressure so first we f we know we have to put a flow rate but the flow rate here really does not matter so we put here let's say one mole per hour one kilo mole per hour any value could have been put there so that's not a problem and here the pressure is of course one atmosphere so we put here one atmosphere pressure so we go here down the column here and we put one atmosphere so for putting the bubble point what you do here we put here the value 0 the vapor phase fraction should be equal to 0 so we put the value equal to 0 the moment you put 0 you see the temperature comes the bubble point temperature comes as 48.34 degrees Celsius so that's a bubble point temperature so this temperature here so this temperature here so this corresponds to this particular composition again this is for a, a explaining this is only for binary system but what we have here is a ternary system three component system but at least at the fixed pressure one atmosphere the temperature with the bubble point temperature has been found as uh, 48.34 degrees celsius so going back to simulation so that's so that's it is it is so find out the vapor composition the liquid composition it's very easy so what you really do you just kind of uh, let's quickly cross it out we don't need this one you kind of drag it if you draw it if you see that here the here the liquid is 1.0 the total mole for it is 1 and the liquid for it is 1 and the vapor is 0 so this is the first drop uh, first bubble of vapor that is formed first bubble is formed and so therefore the liquid composition remains the same as the original so if you go here you can see the liquid composition remains the same as the original here but you see this is my vapor composition the composition inside the vapor so that is why we call it the bubble point so this is practically 28 percent say 43.7 percent and 28.26 percent so these values are given over here so this is these are the compositions of the hydrocarbons inside that one particular vapor one vapor that is formed the, the, or the very first vapor that is formed which is called the bubble point so, in a similar concept, we can find out what is the dew point temperature. So, how do you find out the dew point temperature? So, again, let us say here, uh, if you have a vapor and if you slowly reduce the temperature here, you, the, 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 the temperature at which the first drop of liquid is formed, that is of course the dew point curve. Again, this is for binary system, but we have a ternary system here. So, we have to find out the temperature at one atmosphere pressure at which the first drop of liquid is formed so going back to my here um, so of course the composition remains the same so what you do here instead of this one so you just clear out here and you put one the vapor fraction as one the moment you put vapor fraction as one you see this is 57.75 degrees celsius so at 57.75 degrees celsius the very first liquid that is basically 
uh, formed. Uh, so that is why it's called the uh, the dew point. And the corresponding compositions are, as you can see, the vapor composition remains the same as the overall composition. But the very first drop of liquid that is formed because of the formation, very drop, first drop of liquid, the composition does not change. Composition of vapor does not change. So that's why these two compositions remain the same. But the composition of the very first drop of liquid that is formed is given by this six percent, fifteen point seven percent, etc. So that's what it is given over here. So that is basically the way you find out the bubble point in dew point. So what you do, you get the composition and in the conditions, let us say for the temperature, uh, if you have to find the dew point temperature and the bubble point temperature. So what you really have to do, you put the pressure here and for bubble point temperature you put 0 and for the dew point temperature you put 1. So it is that easy. Uh, Let us go to the next problem here. In the next problem it says we have to find the bubble pressure. Uh, a vessel is maintained here. So, what we have here a vessel is so we have a vessel here. So, we have a vessel here. A vessel is maintained at 127 degrees Celsius here contains a liquid mixture normal pentene, normal hexane and cyclohexane. Pressure of the vessel is now gradually reduced. So, you have the pressure of the vessel is now gradually reduced with the help of let us say this valve. What is the bubble pressure in the composition of the first vapor that is formed? So, if we go to our diagram, let us see what is happening here. So, in this case, as you can see here. Uh, again, this is for a binary system. I am in showing you the binary system, but truly we have a ternary system, but the concepts remain the same here. So, what we have here is a liquid mixture of normal pentane, like normal hexane and cyclohexane. So, we go here uh, and <coughs> what we do we slow we slowly reduce the pressure so this is my liquid here we slowly reduce the pressure see here the very first vapor that is from or the bubble that is from that is my bubble point so that is my bubble point pressure so for doing that what do you do you again so you go here uh, let us start a new system here so let us start a new system take here and uh, we choose the ping robinson equation of state and then we choose the compounds and what are the compounds I, normal pentane normal hexane so we choose normal pentane and normal hexane and then we have to choose cyclohexane cyclohexane so once once we have done that so that is chosen so, we have chosen the uh, equation of state and we have chosen the compounds. Now, so that part is done. So, we now end. So, here is the three components have been chosen and the Ping Robinson equation of state has been chosen. So, we come here. Uh, so, again, first let us take a stream here. So, let us we are taking a stream here and let us call this here as let us say feed. Okay. Here, um, the we have to first put in the compositions. So, what are the compositions? Compositions are 50 percent normal pentane, 30 percent normal hexane, and 20 percent cyclohexane. So, we put 0 0.5. Let us cross this one out here. So, we put 0 0.5 and then we put 0 0.3 and then we put 0 0.2. So, and finally, it is 1.0. So, this is okay. So, that is fine. So, next we have to go to conditions here and as I said I you can put any molar fluoric value so I'm just putting here one then what you have to do is uh, as you can see temperature you have to put in a temperature 127 degrees Celsius so you put here the temperature as 127 degrees Celsius Celsius is already chosen so for finding out the bubble pressure as I said for the bubble pressure you have to put zero the moment you put zero you see this is 719.6 kilopascals which is 7.196 bar and for finding out the vapor composition what you have to do you just drag it and here you go to the composition and you can see here this is my vapor composition so 
the what is the thing at 127 degrees celsius the first drop of <coughs> the first bubble of vapor that is formed is that is formed at you can say at 7.1 lines 719.6 kilopascals or 7.196 bar and the composition of the hydrocarbons inside that bubble is given by this one so this is my bubble pressure so this is my bubble pressure at that given temperature 127 degrees celsius another interesting what we want to show let's say instead of ping robinson equation of steel if you want to use the ideal gas equation of steel what you do here here you are in the fluid package and here instead of here you go to uh, m toin and that kind of simulates the ideal gas equation of state so once you have chosen this n toin you just cross it out and you return to the simulation environment and you say do you wish to be uh, left in the holding mode say no and the moment you holding say no see you get these values here say around 7.728.9 around 7.29 bar and the composition is also slightly changed so what's the difference in this case in the first case we have chosen the ping robinson equation of state now we have done the same calculation that means we found the bubble pressure at this, this temperature of 127 degrees celsius temperature using the ideal gas equation of state which can be relatively easy to find out at least do the hand calculation so let me show you uh, one more example okay here we are finding out the bubble temperature at a given pressure again here the same thing so the here the pressure is fixed we have to find out the bubble temperature but this is a ternary system okay so we go here bubble temperature at a given pressure so uh, what is this the the composition remains the same as normal pentane normal hexane and cyclohexane so now the pressure is 5 bar okay so what you do here you go here of course we are not changing the composition remains the same here in the conditions you you take this temperature out here okay and now you what you have to do you have to put the pressure as 5 bar so you put the pressure as 5 bar here and as you put the 5 bar you see the temperature comes out to be but here you have to change this to ping robinson equation of this so since it's still n toin so you go here and you change this to ping robinson equation of state okay so once you do that you come back here return simulation element holding mode no and you see the temperature is 109.7 degrees celsius and of course the corresponding uh, vapor composition that means the vapor inside the bubble is given by this one so what is the uh, so what is the bubble temperature so the bubble temperature for this composition what composition 50% normal pentane 30% normal hexane and 20% cyclohexane at 5 bar the bubble temperature is 109.7 degrees celsius okay let's go to another example here uh, which is uh, we have to find the dew point pressure at a given temperature so these are just different combinations so the compositions remain the same 50 percent so i'm not going to change the composition but here the temperature is 400 kelvin and we have to find out here so the pressure of the vessel is now gradually increased what is the dew point pressure so you go here and so now we are dealing with this curve here so now here in this case the temperature is fixed so this is my superheated vapor so we slowly increase the pressure when the first dew is formed so we have to find out this dew point pressure so what you do here you go and 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 go to this diagram here and of course the composition is remaining the same so i'm not going to change the composition but here what we are going to do you you delete this one here and now you put 400 kelvin 400 kelvin insert celsius you put here kelvin the up so you put here sorry we put 5.98 bar is my pressure and the compositions of the, uh, the, the the liquid that is formed that means the first drop of liquid that comes out is given by 31.24 37.12 and 31.63 so that's what it is given okay so what is the next problem what is the dew point temperature at a given pressure so the first one is dew point pressure at a given temperature next one is a dew point temperature at a given pressure so 
so of course the composition remains the same now instead of temperature we are defining the pressure which is 5 bar so what will be the dew point temperature so again the problem remains exactly the same so we go here and we, we just uh, take it out and here we go and as you can see here that the uh, pressure is 5 bar so we put here pressure is 5 bar here 5 bar and we have to find the dew point temperature so this is of course for dew point this is vapor fraction is going to be equal to 1 the dew point temperature is 118.8 and that of course you this and the compositions are 30.36 so this is basically as you can see this is the first drop of liquid that comes out so that's my that's why it's called the dew point so this dew point is equal to 1 and the composition of the dew is 30.36 37.42 and 32.20 so this is uh, so and these are the values which are given here in my manual so these are given okay let's go to the a little slightly more complicated problem here so let's uh, quickly go and start a new case uh, new case and here let's read the problem first what is the problem the problem says dew point temperature with a non condensable gas so what is this it says that a vessel uh, maintained at 3 bar so we have a vessel here so we have a vessel so we have a vessel here which is maintained at 3 bar so let's assume there is a pressure here and this is maintained at 3 bar constant pressure and of course let's say there is a control so I just may keep it a constant pressure uh, what is the temperature and and so what is the temperature composition liquid in equilibrium of the gas mixture so here we have a liquid so that will be the liquid what is the temperature and composition and of course as you can see it's the dew point so there's a very first liquid that will be coming out we have to find out that so and if you remember the dew point of course you will put vapor fraction you must be equal to one okay so and this is maintained at three bars so the pressure is fixed and we the composition is given 10 percent normal pentane 10 percent normal hexane and 80 percent nitrogen and this is a non-condensable gas so this is a non-condensable gas okay so in terms of compositions when you really do the calculations you have to cal cal take care of only of these two k values you know it's because this is a non-condensable gas when you do the hand calculation but anyway we using Heises and unison it can be done very easily and I will show you how this can be done so let's quickly go to the simulation problem here and uh, here and first we add the uh, Peng Robinson equation of state which is uh, good because we have uh, the components are as you can see uh, normal pentane normal hexane and nitrogen these all of these compounds follow the pen Robinson equation of state pretty well so that's not a problem there and this is uh, so we go here and uh, then we add the compounds and the compounds are normal pentane and normal hexane so that's taken and then we have nitrogen you just can just put n2 and automatically nitrogen is chosen so we have selected the equation of state and we have selected the compounds uh, so we enter the simulation environment and we go here we choose a stream here and in the stream as we said first we put the composition so let's put this composition we know this is 0 0.1 10 percent so this is 0 0.1 and another one is 0 0.1 same 10 percent here and nitrogen is 80 percent so it's pretty much uh, 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 maximum nitrogen is there so this is one so the composition is very well defined so we go to the composition uh, uh, conditions in the conditions what you do here let's look at the problem it says maintain at three bar and we have to find out the dew point we have already given the composition so what you go here we put here three molar fluid as I said you can put any molar fluid you want to and the pressure is three bar so we go here and put the pressure is three bar and we have to find out the dew point so we put here one automatically you see the temperature is 40.46 degrees Celsius so here 
the temperature is 40.46 degrees Celsius and the liquid composition what you have to do as I have shown you for finding out the liquid composition you drag this one and you go to the composition and you can see these are the composition of the liquid okay uh, vapor composition of course remains the same as original composition since the first drop of liquid that comes out because that's a dew in, instead of liquid you can call that the dew that is coming out and then the dew and hydrocarbon composition of the dew are 25 points and 75 points uh, percent and this is almost 75 percent so and there's practically no nitrogen there that is expected and in the vapor that is mainly nitrogen so that's what we do here and as you can see this is mainly in the dew mainly you get the normal pentane and normal hexane and nitrogen goes out from the top okay finally we have another problem here which shows that uh, this is a very practical problem again we have that uh, a condenser and a flash drum for ammonia synthesis the exit gas from an ammonia reactor so as the exit coming reactor uh, this is a very high pressure we know the ammonia reactor comes at a very high pressure and the compositions are 61.5 percent hydrogen 20.5 percent nitrogen and the remaining is ammonia okay the gas is cooled to 25 degrees Celsius the, that means the gases which is coming out from the ammonia reactor is 25 degrees Celsius that makes it partly condensed and what condenses of course the ammonia condenses hydrogen and nitrogen are non condensable they are then separated in a flash drum so they go there and put in a flash drum in the flash drum of course ni uh, nitrogen and hydrogen will come out and here of course from the condensed of course here flash drum the ammonia comes out as a liquid mainly okay Okay, calculate the product composition of the flash drum. You may use the Wilson equation of state. Now we are using the equation of state for the liquid phase activity coefficient calculation and the vapor phase may be assumed to follow ideal gas. You can follow and you can put any kind of other equations of state for the vapor phase also. So let me show you this problem and we have will come out quite often to these uh, compositions. So let's show you how to do that. So as usual, we go here and uh, go to the simulation environment we start a new case and first we go to the fluid package in the fluid package we add Wilson equation of state here so with this is my Wilson equation of state and the vapor phase we are assuming this to be ideal it could have chosen any other equation of state but here we are assuming this to be ideal and in the comp uh, 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 components you have to add hydrogen and then you have to add nitrogen and then you have to add ammonia okay so these are the three compounds which are added okay so once you do that then uh, we have chosen the uh, uh, equations uh, uh, equations of state this is Wilson and ideal Wilson for the liquid phase activity coefficient for the vapor phase this is the ideal equation of state and we have chosen three components so we enter the simulation environment so let's take a uh, uh, stream here and first we give the composition for composition let me go back here and see what are the compositions we have 61.5 20.5 and 18 so we go here we put here 61.5 0 0.615 and then we have 0 0.2 205 let me quickly uh, make sure that I'm putting the right value here 0 0.205 and 0 0.18 so we go here 0 0.205 and then we put 0 0.18 0 0.18 and let's see if that comes equal to 1 yeah so the composition is very well defined so go to the conditions here in the conditions again the flow rate really does not matter so this could be any flow rate and of course the pressure is 250 bar so we put here 250 bar here and the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius we put 25 degrees Celsius okay and the moment you put here as you can see the vapor fraction is 0 0.8508 so this is a mixture of liquid and vapor so this is a mixture of liquid and vapor so for it, now you what you go here you drag it and you can see in the molar flow rate 85 percent of the vapor and rest of course would be the liquid that will be coming out from that vessel separation vessel okay so once you do that so what you do if to find out the composition you go here so this is my composition of the paper phase and this is my composition of liquid phase and these values are already given here 
okay so that is the way you find out the uh, dew point and the vapor point or you want to find out what is the um, vapor fraction of particular stream whether it's a totally liquid or and that means it's a subcool liquid or it's a superheated vapor or it's a saturated liquid or it's a saturated vapor or it's a mixture of liquid and vapor everything you could be able to find out just from this high just any unison simulation so that pretty much that's the way you do it uh, for, for finding out the bubble point and the dew point uh, temperatures and the pressure and uh, i'll see you next time for another uh, video lecture series thank you